Welcome to the homework for lesson 29. This is module 4 of grade 2. As always, write your name first. And we're using a, uh, a vertical addition method that's called totals below. And if you don't remember it from class, you'll, uh, after you see a couple of examples, uh, you'll see it. Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of second graders really like this method. It's okay to use it as much as you want. It's a little bit tricky. The only thing you really have to watch out for is that you want to make sure, and I'll use a spread marker here, you want to make sure that you want to keep your, your tens and your ones straight. What tends to happen is that you'll, what tends to happen is they tend to go like this as you write them so that you can end up having things uh, digits in like two place values over from where they're supposed to be so you really just have to be careful once you start doing it you'll see what I mean you really want to be careful that your ones stay lined up and your tens stay lined up and they don't get cross over into each other so here's how you do it we're gonna add the ones digits first just like we always do with paper and pencil stuff we always look at the ones digits first so we're looking at the eight and the seven and that's 15 and I'm just gonna write 15 See how the 5 is under the 1s, and the 1 here is a 10, and it's under the rest of the 10s. Then I'm going to add the 10s. That's 20 and 40. That's 60. Just like that. And now I can add the 1s. It's really easy addition from here when you add the digits, usually because you're adding lots of zeros together with other numbers. 5 plus 0, 5. And your 10s, 1 plus 6, 7. It's 75. Look over here at the 118 plus 73. 8 and 3 is 11. Here. <clears throat> now I'm going to add the 10s. That's 10 plus 70, which is 80. And I'm going to write 80. And then the 100s, there's just one of them. It's 100. So you can see now that I have all my ones digits lined up in a column and all my tens digits lined up in the same in their own column and all the hundreds in their own now you don't have to draw those lines uh, it might help you if you do but you can see how it goes when you have one two three four five rows of numbers it, it can be hard you really have to concentrate to make sure you're being careful to keep them in the right place otherwise you end up adding the digits to the wrong place values so here we have 1 plus 0 plus 0, that's just 1. And 1 plus 8 is 9. And 1, 191. That's it. Now here's 156 plus 62. We'll add the 1's digits first. That's 6 plus 2. And there's an 8. Now we're going to add the 10's. It's 50 plus 60. That's 110. So the 100 goes underneath the other 100's digit, which is up here. And then the 10 goes there. Be careful where you put your digits. And then we have just 100. We just have 100 up here, this guy. And we're going to write them as 100. We just have 8 and 0 and 0, which is 8. And 1 plus 0, which is 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. That's it. Now we have... Uh, 137 plus 82, add the ones digits first. 7 plus 2 is 9. Make sure it's in the right place value. And then you have 30 plus 80, which is 110. Make sure all your digits are in the right place values so that your tens digit is under where the tens are and your hundreds digit is under where the hundred is. See what I mean in a different color here. The tens digit here is right under where the tens are, and the hundreds is as much under the hundreds as you can get it. It's never going to be totally perfect unless you use graph paper to do this, but uh, it you really just work on it. Make sure you try to be careful about it. Okay, so then we have the hundreds. There's only one hundred to write down because there's no other hundreds to add. And now we have nine plus zero plus zero. That's nine. 
and 1 plus 0, that's 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, 219. A few more examples here. 7 plus 5 is 12, looking at our 1's digits, and then 40 plus 30, right, our tens, the sum of our 10's digits goes here. 40 plus 30 is 70, 70, and then we have just 100. And now we just add up all the digits we have here. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. And in the 10s, we're looking at we're looking at 1 and 7 and 0. That's 8 altogether. And there's only 100 to look at, so it's 182. Then we have 9 plus 1 is 10, so it's going to go here, like that. 0 1s and a 1 in the tens column, right? Because these are all tens right here. Now we look at our other tens digits. We have 40 and 50. 40 and 50 is 90, like that. And then we have 100. So you see where all these zeros come in. 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 plus 9 is 10. Right, so that's another 100. And then we have 200s to add together here. 200. Eight plus two is ten. There's my ten. Then the eighty plus twenty is a hundred. So there's my hundred. And then we have another hundred here. That's just a one in the hundreds place. So it's another hundred to add up. Now we add up all our digits. Zeros. One plus zero plus zero is one. And one plus one is two. Two hundred ten. You can see maybe why um, this is popular with a lot of second graders because you ended up adding a lot of digits together with zeros and ones and twos. Six plus five is eleven. There. And then we have twenty plus sixty, that's eighty. And then we have this hundred here, one hundred. One plus zero plus zero is one. And 1 plus 8 is 9. And then there's your 100. It's 191. Daniel counted 67 apples on one tree and 79 apples on another tree. How many apples were on both trees? Add like units and record the totals below to solve. So all that means is... <clears throat> We're going to draw a tape diagram and use totals below to add. All right, we had, this is uh, one tree, 67 apples, and this is the, the 79 on A, another tree. Both trees together, how many apples? So it's 67 plus 79 equals 67, 79. All right, 7 plus 9 is 16. I could draw another line underneath if I like. And 60 plus 70 is 130. 6 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 3 is 4, and that 100 is all by itself, so it's just 100, 146. One hundred forty-six apples. were on both trees.